Can personality traits change? My goodness, this topic has garnered a lot of attention. A lot of you are thinking about this, talking about it, wrestling with it. And I've got some information I want to share with you. I'm Dr. David Hawkins, Director of the Marriage Recovery Center and the Emotional Abuse Institute, where we talk about, think about, research all things pertaining to narcissism and emotional abuse. Can personality traits change? Well, I want to give you five things to think about. Five issues on this topic that are worth considering. All right, first of all, my goodness, Google it, research it, think about it, and you will discover that personality traits are generally stable over time. Of course, of course they are, of course they are. Personality traits are stable over time. I am generally the same person I was five years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Generally the same guy. Personality traits are stable over time. By the way, the American Psychological Association says that attitudes are generally stable over time, too. Attitudes are the way that we view situations, our feelings about things, how we view objects and people and situations. Attitudes are generally stable over time as well. All right, but we don't need to get freaked out about that. Attitudes are stable over time. Personality traits are stable over time. It's all true. But that leads to the second point. One of my favorite reads recently has been James Clear and his work on Atomic Habits. And my goodness, the man cites all different kinds of examples about how people's attitudes and behaviors, which are comprised of habit patterns, change over time. And so, my goodness, folks, behavior can change. Habit patterns can change. And if you really want to look at the compilation, the whole uh, different network of behaviors and attitudes that make up Dr. David Hawkins or make up your personality, you can look at all the different habits that form a certain set of behaviors. Okay. And so, obviously, if we're talking about narcissism and emotional abuse, narcissistic attitudes, those are going to be enduring and stable over time, aren't they? Of course they are. But that leads to point number three. Point number three is it takes a breakdown to have a breakthrough. And when things break down, when there has been an intervention, then we see change. I, I, I have been thinking a lot about this, folks. We have a comprehensive core treatment program for narcissistic and emotional abuse. And typically, the men coming into the beginning core group are resentful and resistant and they grouse about, you know, wait a minute, it takes two to tango and all those bad behaviors and bad attitudes. But then we see something quite incredible happen as they work with other men in the group and as they're confronted again and again with those bad attitudes and those bad behaviors those abusive behaviors, 
we see the breakdown beginning to create a breakthrough. Little cracks where the denial begins to break down and the men work through 14 weeks of core and then they toggle into the advanced core group where they begin to practice mindfulness and distress tolerance and emotion regulation and interpersonal effectiveness, all hallmarks of dialectical behavior therapy. And they begin to learn about self-awareness and the attitudes that gave rise to the abusive behavior begin to break down. And, and, and then we discover something really exciting. Point number four, empathy can be learned. Yes, we know that empathy can be learned. And when we walk in the shoes of another person, when we consider them, when we contemplate them, then we're not so caught up in our own wounds and we see this other person as an individual and we consider what they're asking for and we understand that her criticism is a plea for connection. And then we're not so wounded by her criticism and we see that, oh my goodness, she really wants a relationship with me. And so the men begin to grow and and then point number five, we notice that character work can be done. It really can be done. And the men in the comprehensive core treatment program, 14 weeks in the core, 14 weeks in the advanced core, six months in core strength where they're being confronted and challenged week in and week out. And they learn about the impact of their behavior. So don't tell me that character can't change. It can change. It takes self-awareness. It takes being open to feedback. It takes being motivated to change. And if you've got those components, if you're willing, if the man is willing to work on self-awareness, if the woman is willing to work on self-awareness, if they are open to feedback and there's been a breakdown that leads to the breakthrough and that creates motivation for change, feeling good and growing becomes self-perpetuating. It's self-perpetuating. And so we don't have to beg men to stay in our core strength treatment program. They want to stay in it. They want to keep growing. They see the value of personality change. All right, circling back to the question, can personality traits be changed? Absolutely, yes. Do all of the men or all of the women who are narcissistic want to change? No, but those that have had the breakdown leading to the breakthrough, those that have experienced the value of change and growth often will stick with it and keep growing and keep changing. And that is tremendously exciting. All right, we would love to hear your feedback. We would love to hear your reaction to this video. And if you would like additional help from us at the Marriage Recovery Center and the Emotional Abuse Institute, click on that link, contact our client care team who will answer questions for you about how to get the best possible help, expert help for these incredibly complex and thorny issues and help you gain a level of clarity so that you can make good choices for yourself. Take care, and as always, God bless.